some diamonds. Let's go. Oh, uh, I do want that. Alright, nice. Some diamonds. Oh, is it a six? It's a six. There's six diamonds right here. Uh, let's see. I don't need rotten flesh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, six diamonds. Oh, hello, friends. Oh, wow. This is like the resource cave. All right. I'm a little scared. No, it's just you. I do hear fight, or, um, I do hear footsteps. I'm not sure if that's just the Enderman, or if that's, um, or if that's other mobs. But anyways, welcome back, everybody, to Minecraft Episode 2. Woohoo! Alright, yeah. So today, um, we're just gonna do a little bit more caving. Um, I, one mistake. Oh my goodness, look how many resources are in this cave. First, the diamonds, redstone, coal, iron, iron, uh, iron, oh my goodness, more iron, 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 oh my goodness, this is like the resource haven. Oh, that's just a one, that's just a one, that's also a one. Let's see, this is a, probably a four, oh, it's a five. That's a five. This is a three, most likely. Yeah, this is probably a two. No, never mind. It's a three. Right. So, anyways, yeah, welcome back to the Minecraft um, series. Today, I'm going to be doing some more caving. But unlike the last episode, I now know what I'm doing. And also, um, I am down at Y. Well. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I am down at about y equals y equals 11. So that's right where diamonds are found. Um, those diamonds right up there were found at y equals 13. And you can find diamonds from anywhere to y equals 16 to y equals 0. So um, I'm right in the diamond range right here. And this is a big resource pocket. Goodness gracious. Look how many resources are in this cave. A bunch of coal, a bunch of redstone. There's still more. I, I'm after gold because um, I do like having golden apples on me. Especially early game. Golden apples are like lifesavers. You can't make um, enchanted golden apples anymore. So um, the best replacement is just you know normal golden apples. Um, hopefully I'm not gonna die. That would be quite a disappointment. Um, I don't need the melon slices. I did get a, a potato from a zombie. And, um, now I'm switching, um, potatoes are just, honestly, like, in my opinion, potatoes are the best early game food that you can get. Obviously, later game, you either want to switch to, oh, more diamonds, nice. Let's hope that this is at least a six. I'm going to guess that it's probably a four, maybe even just like a three, but, um, let's hope, Ugh, it's just a one, dang, but I still get a one diamond, that's better than nothing, right, that's a free shovel, nice, yeah, so, um, what was I talking about, oh, I have a, I have an extra potato that I didn't cook, do you want this potato, sir, you can have that potato. Uh, let's make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, now we're getting fancy here, because my, um, oh, look at it. And the texture pack, it looks really nice. It looks, it looks like it's enchanted, but it looks like I turned on the, um, alternate enchantment glow. Kind of looks like that. If you play with the vanilla tweaks, then you'll know what I'm talking about. It looks like it's a pickaxe with the alternate enchantment glow kind of weird but yeah um that's what it looks like we're actually gonna kill this enderman 
gonna bop it on the head with an axe. Look at me, I'm a speedrunner. Oh, I... I'm dead. I died. I think I know the way back to where I was. Oh, what a disappointment. I had 18, no, 19 levels as well. Oh, that's such a buzzkill on my dapper mood. Dang it. Well, um, yeah. I die a lot to Endermen. Endermen are, like, my least favorite in the entire game. I hate Endermen. Let's see. Oh no, I go down to the bottom and take a left. I think it's no. I oh here it is. I even marked it with three torches. What a smart man. I go down this way. No. Ah, dang. I was hoping it wouldn't blow up. Oh, I did. Um, this is a good thing. I did find a spawner. I'm right, right where I s started the video. Like, right about here. I started recording, and then I unexpectedly found this. This diamond thing. Alright. Um, right here. We got our seven levels back. Uh, let's put back on our armor before we get killed by more mobs. Let's pick up you. I got, like, caught on the, um... I got caught on the, like, on the side of this. Oh, I have two swords. I think that's a sword I probably got from a zombie. I don't need it. I do not need a sword. Um, I do want you. I have another shovel as well. I don't need extra shovels. Because, for as at least right now, I don't need extra shovels. Because... Oh, yeah. The, okay, I was just wondering. I was like, didn't I have seven diamonds? Yeah, I did have some, seven diamonds. I spent three of them to make a pickaxe, though. I'm kind of dumb sometimes. So, um... What was I talking about? I think I was still doing the um, introduction before I got um, interrupted. But anyways, welcome back to the Minecraft series. Um, I'm just gathering the resources required i think it's not gonna be um i don't think it's gonna be until episode four of this series that i make my actual first like part of the the base oh that was a lot of creepers why was there so many uh i do need cobblestone some lava down here. A little scared of you. Let's mine up all of this redstone. Redstone never hurt anybody, eh? Um, no, yeah, it definitely did. It's definitely hurt me mentally sometimes when I've been struggling to make myself a redstone design and then I just get so out of it that I just end up going on YouTube and searching up designs that I'm trying to get. I wonder how people are like, like, it must be so hard to design a redstone contraption by yourself. Like, how, like, like, for the last couple weeks I've been binging just like old Ethos Lab videos. If you can't tell already, um, based off what I've said in, in the past and also um, what I'm about to say now, I love Ethos Lab, like, I, I'm everything, most of the things that I do are inspired by him, and, like, no, yeah, he's, he's a great role model, especially in the Minecraft world. So, anyways, um, but, yeah, like, he, he made this, like, uh, I think it was, like, it was like a long time ago, probably like six or seven years ago, but he made this entire mini game. He designed it himself, no help. He designed like this, like, if any of you know what a Tamagotchi pet is, he designed one of those in Minecraft, but like on an extreme level. Like, he made it so that they can like f have emotions, and that he like, they like sometimes get sick, 
and I have no idea how people design stuff that complicated. Oh, now we get to use our diamond pickaxe. Oh, it feels so nice to have a diamond pickaxe at long last. Let's see how how long I've been playing on this world. I've been playing for eight days. Yeah, eight days. Um, I think my uh, second video. I'm going a little slower than I was the first time, uh, or this rather the second time. The second uh, series that I started. Um, by the time I was recording episode two, I was on about day eleven. But I was a lot luckier in that seed compared to this seed. Like this, I'm just dying so much on the seed than I am on the other seed. The other seed, I was like, I don't know what about it, but I was just like, well, this bow that I got from a skeleton has 300 durability. Considering that most of them, on average, have like 20 durability, it's a great bow to keep. I'm actually gonna even put that on my hot bar. Wow, what a what a lucky drop. Anyways, yeah, now it, now it is kind of a shame that I lost 18 levels. I probably could have been at, like, level 25 now. Well, no, a little less. Probably, like, level 20, because level scaling does exist. So, like, the higher you go, the harder it is to get to new levels. So, considering I went from level 7 to 12 right here, so that's 5 levels. If I was at level 17, I would probably most likely be about like level 20 level maybe even 21 i don't know why i'm talking about how i could possibly have extra levels if i didn't die but i am <laughs> that's the random things you sometimes get with a uh, open-ended commentary like i do like because i still don't have an uh, a video editor i can't edit clips together um, so instead I just edit or record my videos all in one take, and it's really aggravating, honestly. Like, it's, it's annoying to have to record multiple clips. Hello, what are you? Why have I not opened you before? You're so full of stuff. You even have a golden apple for me. Thank you, sir. Uh, everything I have in my inventory is useful. Nah, I don't need cobblestone stairs. I'll come back for you eventually, good sir. Um, so any, yeah, I don't know why I haven't looted that chest. That was a bunch of free torches. Alright, I'm gonna come back upstairs to do a loot run. Or a loot drop-off, rather. But, back to what I was saying. Um, I don't yet have a video editor. I'm, uh, soon, actually, uh... I have a bit of extra money from when I bought myself a computer, uh, this new computer, um, but instead of just like, I'm thinking of um, buying AVS, because my friend has told me before that AVS is a one-time payment, and I just, uh, like most editing softwares, hello sir, I'll take your bones. Oh, I guess you're not gonna attack. That's kind of weird. Just walking around. But anyways, um, I need a video editor, but I definitely cannot. Oh, by the way, if you wanted to know, this is my bamboo chest. I have a, an entire chest, and I have two wooden pickaxes in there for some for some reason. But yeah, that's my bamboo chest because <laughs> I cleared out this big area. And I think I've cleared out everything I want to start with, because my starter base is pretty big. Um, I'm not sure why I'm keeping it secret. There's only going to be like three people that watch it. But um, what I'm planning, there's on yeah, there's only like, like my first, my first video of this new series was posted, I think by now, seven o'clock. So it's probably it was probably posted like. An, like nine hours ago but like even even uh nine hours of time has passed and my video still has zero views so yeah
But anyways, um, yeah, I'm not sure why I'm keeping my base a secret, but um, I'm planning to make a tree, and the tree it um it has like so the tree is like this. If if I once if I had a video editor, I would hop into my um building world so I can show you the plan for my base. But um I'm planning to have like a big tree, probably like a, a like with a diameter of ten. And then for it to go up, but it's not gonna be like a fully grown tree. I'm I want it to be like like a decaying tree or like a dead tree. So it has like on the inside that's why it's got to be pretty big it's got to have um inside room so i can put basalt which looks like like decaying wood it's actually a pretty nice block i really like basalt but anyways it looks like a de decaying wood so i'm planning to use that to my advantage and i'm gonna make the base um what was i saying um the base is gonna be, um, it's, so, it's gonna be the, um, what's it called again? The decaying tree. But then, it's gonna have, like, a bird sitting on it. So, it's gonna be, like, a branch that branches off. And then, on the branch, there's gonna be a bird that sits on it. And, you know what? Well, I have the time. I'll just show you. Because, um, right here. Uh, this is like a bunch of builds that I've made. But this is it right here. Um, so the tree right here, but it's like all decayed on the inside. So if we go down here, it looks like it's been like struck by lightning. If, you have any, if any of you have seen those videos of like, break or like chopping down a, a lightning struck tree you see on the inside it's all like decayed and stuff but on the outside it looks absolutely fine that's what i'm going for here so it looks like it's all decayed on the inside and then we have a bird like off on a branch we have a bird sitting right here so um you come in through here this is going to be like the entrance come down here there's some fire oh don't get burned no, I've purposely put it like in the the only fire that could possibly be problematic is this fire, because if I'm just like running around and I just hold W for too long, I might burn myself a little bit. But anyways, we come up here, and then we have just like you know a little bit of a view. This is uh, I might actually do a tour of this one day. So this is a B Dubs inspired build. This is um the plan of what I was going to use for my woodcutter shop in my other Minecraft world. Um, this right here is a relatively crappy house. I didn't even finish it because it was just really bad. This is a build palette that I want to eventually use. I might even use it in this city or in this world where it's just um, the redwoods. Um, I think this is white terracotta. Dark prismarine, um, cyan, cyan terracotta, not terracotta, concrete, um, yeah, so that's right there, um, this is like a fantasy styled, um, house that I wanted to build, but I don't think I'm gonna do it, cause it's just kinda small, and also it, like, uses hard to get materials, um, uh, blue terracotta and light blue. Those are kind of hard to get, but I think it looks pretty nice. Um, up here we have a, a slightly stubby tree. Um, over here we have a mushroom. This is um, what I put into my um, survival world. These are the nether bridge tunnels that I was making. Um, excuse me, sorry. Um, so yeah, um, my first plan was to go with this, and I actually still do really like this. Um, it's like a bunch of blue trees, and then a bunch of red trees, and then it's just like a walkway. But um, I just decided that that was going to be so many materials, so I decided to not go with that. 
design and instead I went with this one which ended up actually costing more materials it's just basalt polished basalt yeah polished basalt um, and then you've seen this one you've seen this one if um, yeah I'm just gonna um, all right so uh, oh yeah, yeah yeah this has a backstory so me and my friend I don't think he would be too happy with me if I said his name on the internet so he's gonna remain anonymous um, me and my oh, sorry um, me and my friend we wanted to um, we wanted to make 50 popular buildings in 50 different states so like um we wanted to build like uh or may it, maybe it was just the capitals we didn't ever agree upon the rules fully because we only ended up doing like two or one or two builds and this is mine um the one build that i did in this little sort of challenge you could say i built um Cathedral, or no, sorry, Capstone Cathedral in Arizona. If you've never seen it, then look it up. Um, it's like, uh, this is a very ter- If you've seen Capstone Cathedral in real life, or even just a picture of it, you can tell that this is a terrible building of it. Like, it doesn't even have any interior. It has nothing in down there. Um, it, the pyramid, this is supposed to be a pyramid but it ends up just looking like a space invader yeah it was it's really bad um this is um wait is there anything i haven't gone over yet yeah this is a little um thing i had to do for a history report where i had to build a location after researching um a famous explorer or a voyager you could say and i chose to do um what's his name again ponce de leon he's the guy that searched for um the fountain of youth so i built what he thought the fountain of youth looked like looked like which is just like a little you know like like a hot spring kind of that's what it was going for so, um, just chilling in here. Um, this right here, these are just some build tricks. I was on a Discord call one day with my friends, and I was just showing, showing them some build tricks. I really like, I haven't been able to use this one yet, but I really like this one. It's just light gray concrete, or maybe even dark gray. I don't, um, here, let's see if normal gray looks better. But it's supposed to look like one of those, like, you know, one of those, um, like, you could say, like, designer blankets. The ones that are, like, super fluffy and stuff. That's what this is planning to go for. Um, this is, um, I was showing my friends, this is just a better plank design compared to just oak prank, oak planks, like, this is so much better like see it's just like you can tell the difference like this is like so much better this compared to this um but it is using beehives and beehives are pretty expensive they're um they're pretty expensive to get in masses especially um this is um another build trick i was showing my friends where you can just hang lanterns on um oak fences and it looks like a rope hanging a lantern so i was just showing them that um this is what i'm planning my portal to look like in my survival world this is this is new recent stuff this is like within the past week stuff um this is a nether portal um i did mess up on the pit the pit was supposed to be you know more foggy than this but i only had four layers to do this and even then I messed up and I forgot to break every other layer. So you can see it's just four solid layers of glass. So it doesn't look very good. But, um, shut up. Um, so yes, um, the palm trees, you know, once again, basalt looks like decaying wood. And yeah, um, so that's the portal. This is another interesting thing. These are bugs and insects that are inspired by good times with scar 
and I tried making my own. They don't look very good, but um, they're supposed to be. This is uh, well, you can probably tell what they are. This is a dragonfly. This is a, a bee, a bumblebee, and this is uh, an ant. And I especially like this resource pack because it makes nether brick slabs black. And first off, it looks really cool in the nether. Like, if you go into a nether, into the nether, it looks really cool. And then also, it looks good with buildings like this, where it uses the blackstone slabs. If I were to take the resource pack off, this would look kind of wonky with um, the purple on this. But it still looks pretty good, even without the resource pack. But with the resource pack, it's just that much better. So yeah, ant... And I think I've gone over everything in my building world. If I didn't mention that, that's just a building palette I want to use one day. Um, and I was just trying to make like a building that looked like it could use it. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't shown the interior of the bird. That's right. So we, um, we climb up the ladder, come over this way, go down this, up, open here. This is the bottom floor. We have just um, some storage, um, crafting table, smithing table, uh, armor set, you know, just classic stuff. That's actually going to be pretty hard because I live in a jungle, and these orange tulips, um, I do, I, I know, I know I just said it's going to be really hard to get these, but... I want to still use the orange tulip because an orange tulip contrasts well with the blue. If you notice on the color wheel, blue and orange contrast each other on the color wheel. So um, I want to use the orange tulip. It adds like, you know, like it kind of like, I know you, you obviously have this yellow wall, but it's still, um, it's still like kind of attracts your eye like if I were to just open this you can kind of see like it attracts your attention to the orange that's reflecting off of the the blue and that's also why instead of going with the um what are they called soul lanterns I went with the normal orange lanterns because once again they contrast well with the blue anyways enough yapping up here is the bedroom just more storage um, bookshelves, bookshelf, and orange bed, and then we have little windows to look out on the crappy capstone cathedral that I built, so yeah, um, uh, I know I was talking about how I wanted to go caving for this episode, but this just ended up being a building world tour, so, um, anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Have a good day. See you all later. Bye-bye, everybody.